Now there's obviously a lot of ways that we can mount these 360 cameras. But what's the best one? I have a number of options I've been trying out and I would like to discuss some of the pros and cons and use cases and all that fun stuff. So let's get into it. Okay, right off the bat, my favorite and go-to recording angle is the classic head mount. This is definitely my go-to for recording skiing. I know it's like a really classic way to do it, but I really like how it looks. Some advantages to the 360 camera in this way is that you can get a really wide view. And so you can see your skis, you can see the sky, you can see the mountains. It just looks really good and it looks really crisp. Um, additionally, this is the Insta360 RS, and it has the normal GoPro mount. So I don't have to have a different mount on my helmet when I use my GoPro versus my 360 cam, which that is a huge plus for me. So that's my number one favorite angle. Let's jump into the second one and get a little more creative. Okay, my next go-to angle and something that I think is a little creative is, um, so the 360 cam, this is the X3, and this one comes with a selfie stick, or actually I believe the RS does as well. Um, but this selfie stick just screws right into the bottom really cool and the cool thing is that the camera all by itself um, deletes this selfie stick out so it's called the invisible selfie stick basically so this whole pole is invisible so you wouldn't be able to tell that I'm holding this here I can even turn it on right now and so as you can see from the 360 camera now you can't even tell I'm holding a pole right now because it just looks like my hands there it's a really cool feature and I really like it but what this enables is that what I do is this is my ski pole. I keep one of these, uh, they're called Titan straps from where I'm from, Vole straps. There's a lot of names for them, but basically just a rubber strap. Um, I keep one of these on my ski pole so that I can take it off. And then I put this pole on, I tighten strap it onto my ski pole. And this can give a really cool look. Here, let me put it on there real quick. Okay, just like that. So now the camera is tightened on there. Normally, if I spent more time, I could get a little more sturdy, but what you can do with this is a lot of things. Um, first off, you can just ski and hold this out in front of you, and it gives a really cool perspective because there's that's just not something you normally see. Um, additionally, you can hold this pole backwards and hold it more behind you, and that can give a really cool view as well. I don't know, there's just a lot of different ways. You can also just hold your pole normal, and that gives a really cool view. Um, additionally, if you want like a drone view, you can hold your pole at the bottom and hold it like way up there. There's a lot of cool things you can do and I thought this was a really cool way to mount my 360 camera. This is probably my second most used way other than the head cam and I enjoy it a lot. I would definitely say this is more of a skiing related mount, but anything that has poles in it involved. Also, if you have a longer selfie stick, you can make this work for a lot of things, but I really enjoy the angle. Hey, real, real quick, before we get to the next point, I'd really appreciate if you're enjoying this video, if you could subscribe to my channel. It really helps out a lot, and it means a lot. Let's get on to that next point. Okay, my third favorite way to mount and use my 360 camera. This is called Me Mode, um, and it uses a couple of my favorite features about the 360 camera. Um, first off, we're using the invisible selfie stick right now, which is really cool. Um, additionally, one of the big gripes that I have with 360 cameras is the workflow at the end of the day. <laughs> You have to take all this 360 footage and you have to edit it yourself. You have the keyframe, you have to figure out which way it wants to look. You have to do all of that. But with me mode, it does it all for you in camera. So right now it knows where I am and it's looking at me all the time. And as soon as I get this into my computer, I won't have to touch it at all, <laughs> which is gonna be awesome. So I think this feature is really cool for like when you're hiking, it could be really cool. Um, this feature would be really cool for skiing if you were able to hold it at the correct angle. Um, there's just a lot of cool use cases. Right now, it's, I'm even telling it to record in this horizontal aspect because I know I'm gonna be posting this as a YouTube video. But in camera, I could have chose this to be a vertical video for like Instagram, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, me mode is my third favorite way to mount this 360 camera. And I think it's a real, it's definitely my least used way of mounting. The other two things are way more used, but I think this is a really cool feature that shows that uh, Insta360 is really trying to innovate, which is awesome. A little bonus angle for you is filmed like this. I have not quite figured out how to mount this. I've tried it once in one of my older videos and I actually ended up snapping the pole. So 
I really like when you can get this top-down perspective, like the camera's way up above you. It looks really cool, but it's definitely really hard on gear. So I'm still looking for that perfect mounting way, but that mounting perspective definitely gives you like a drone view. So it's really made for like, I would say big mountain skiing. Um, it's made for like climbing. It looks really good in rock climbing. It looks really good in a lot of different things, but it's definitely tough to figure out how to mount it in a lot of different situations. Cause you almost have to like, I don't know, like you have to get this thing like three feet above your head to get the ideal mount. And it's tough, but if you can figure out how to make it work, it looks really good. Okay, if you guys want to see any tips and tricks on how to edit your 360 footage, click on this video up here, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.